Hey there, everyone! This is Alcal playing Banjo Tooie, and don't trust the clock. I played a lot longer yesterday, but we did it. We married the Mary. There is nothing else to be done here. Uh, a task well organized, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying, but it's a big weight removed. Now we can low frame rate blast our way through this smaller world than the others and just kind of make things done and try and get things done again. I just said that twice, it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, um, it is worth saying this level is like a lot smaller than um, the previous like three level Tractoland. Uh, Industry is, uh, you know, fire, ice, temple world. Uh, all of those are very big. I cannot take fall damage anymore, you fool. Uh, they are very big, uh, and uh, this one isn't. This is like a more reasonably sized level. Uh, it's just that everything is really, really spread apart. You know, kind of taking a, a, a smaller level, but making it feel pretty big. You know, so good job of that, I guess. Like I said the other day, we got these handy notes to kind of serve as reminders of where we've been or not, which is very helpful. Do I feel like it's mumbo time? Not yet, I don't think. Anything behind you? Although I should- oh, and here you get a way to fly, so that's good to know. Lowest floor thing... something. Yeah, that's my usage of the English language right there. Uh, here. It's very carroty underneath that. It's pretty good. So here we get another blast cannon. We get a B. Oh, we get a little bit of sunshine right here. So we gotta hatch this probably. So we should probably do that then. Sounds great. This is gonna be another entrance. Yeah, okay. So the entrance with the boots. I pressed the button, man. I really did. Uh, okay, I can do that because there are boots like right where things split off. So I just wait just oh no You can grapple with a buddy. Why can you not grapple now? Just gra- grapple Okay, I don't know why you didn't want to but we're going here. All right, you can see this beautiful like jello path uh, It's very excited if you get excited by jello and I feel like that kind of goes without saying here, you give eggs weird, and you can, okay, you can clearly see there's a little passage here. All right, let's clock it up. It's me, I'm the little robot buddy. Gonna run through this passage that is clear and red. All right, look at that. So this password is like six or nine, nine probably, because uh, you look at the egg, you know, it you get, gives you the order of the number. All right, so split path, and then I, mean, I need to find out where that is because there's an egg that needs to be hatched and that bot Now that I know that it exists, it's the one thing in the universe that bothers me the most entirely forever. That is how human psychology works sometimes. Nothing you can do about it. Oh, I got whack. Okay, so I'm not at the right place at all, it turns out. Got it. Camera could stand to be a little bit further away. Oh, I'm hearing that sound. Where is it? Is it in that little place? In that water, maybe? Are uh, globos here kept wet? I guess so. Well, look at that. Yeah, because the other one here was also in that bass in the water. But that wasn't true for the rest of the game. This is just something they made up for here. All right, there's also a fun little sign where Janjar is going to tell us things. So, oh boy. Oh, man. Have you looked in this pool? Really? <laughs> I mean, it, the sound is much bigger tell than anything you could scream at me. Friendo, no, 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 we're gonna be bird only. Because, you know, if a bear is there, you can't do that. You need to split paths mostly, that's the main reason. All right, so. We do this, we get that, and then we run over there. Got it. I oh, yeah, you're almost dead, Kazooie, so you know, be careful. But we get to hear the really silly sticky shoe music. Oh boy, this is like barely enough time. You just are given approximately exactly enough steps 
to get up there. I don't know why you do that, but you sure do it a lot. All right, so I'm gonna go here. And that's going to... That is very, very, very clearly a scheme to let Banjo get there. Because, yeah, that's gonna be the, the float... The float thing, right? Yeah, the float bug. All right, well, I, I, guess, I guess we can do that now. Do I remember what's the entrance? It's the lowest one. So, uh, okay. He already gives me shoes, but, like, whatever, man. I can fly. <laughs> shoes? Really? In this day and age? I mean, you could get here without the ability to fly. That's true. Then you can do that, and that's a nice way to stop. Alright, so... Lower red door is where I just went. Oh, okay, that, that, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. You know what? How about considering a nap, Banjo? You look kind of weak. So let's just take a nap in this doorway. Underneath the sunlight. That's not weird. Why would that be weird? Uh, like you've never seen a bear do that before. Come on. Be honest with yourself in the various things you've intersected with before. Oh man, you gotta you gotta clear this jump though with Banjo. That's pretty scary. Check it out, it's a bear going up a vine! Unbelievable. Yeah, like, you got to do this platforming. Do you really expect not to do the double jump? That's super scary. Alright, it's... Wrong button time! Not wrong button, wrong button combination. It's different things. Floatium Maximum, or whatever. Floatium Floatus. That's, that does not sound like proper taxonomy. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Look at us, we fly over here where there's a brown thing. Alright, does Banjo have a way to enter rack with that brown thing? Key is put! We did it! We did it! Alright. <laughs> we put a seat in the hole. Fantastic! Oh, the frame rate while you traverse by Cannon Flower is destroying my eyes. I do not like it. Alright, well, there's another clear door right here with nothing going on and with notes clearly untaken. Let's do it. Let's go there. <laughs> like, there's no more magic than that. There's a possibility we're not even gonna get... Oh, hey, it's... Bl bl Look, sometime a man needs two homes, alright? And this is one of those times. There's the red hood skull and the blue one. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow, this is a very similar pattern, actually. I could see someone getting kind of a bit mixed up. Except the platform you go underneath is clearly orange, and the other one, this one, is clearly blue. <sighs> one of these? Really? Uh, but there's a thing you want to hatch. Okay, so this is Briar. It will hurt you. This is why I'm doing this. Because I want to see. Okay, so it's another cave to get here. And then we're going to use the Briar Patch Path to get over here. Is that another, like, seed zone? Maybe? Yeah, it's brown and cracked. Okay, alright. Wow, well, doing the same thing twice in the same level. Never done that before in this game. Alright, where is this entrance? This is the entrance that is... Over here. You know the one. Is there a way here? Uh, maybe you're meant to glide here, I guess. Ra ra ra, indeed. Oh, there's spring shoes right there, okay. Get here, get attacked by this guy. Kind of lose control a little bit. That happens a lot with Kazooie. Get here. You were probably meant to do that where there was a bump, but the spring shoes bring her so high that it literally does not matter. Oh, I, lo I love how those feel. And yeah, like Kazooie could just like glide and go over there. This is the problem is we need Banjo over there. Ah, why does she sound so disappointed? So disappointed in her future child before it even hatches. Like, come on, man, give it a chance. Alright, so, doing the same thing, basically. We 
I understand the pattern that is being set up. Oh, rip. Uh, it was, and it was that blue door, yeah. That would fit. It's where we're going. No, I didn't land on that guy. I don't know. I feel like I should have more health. You know what? Doesn't matter. Matters a little bit. Matters sometimes. Oh boy, I get to use the hoppity hop sack that I've unlocked in this world, actually, that means. So, uh, you know, yeah, I know, it's wading boots. I keep calling them wadding boots. Not a thing, I just didn't know better. A wad, like a doom wad. So, this thing is not the one. This, no, not the one. It's up. Weird. So basically, Banjo pronounced like that. Uh oh I don't think I can defend myself. Sayonara, Goku. So yeah, anyways, uh, in case that, you know, the, 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 the wading boots were not underused enough, now Banjo gets his own, like, instant pair he can use anywhere. So, a little awkward to control, but, like, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, like, it is very much like you're bouncing, 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 and the camera there didn't help. But now I got a little baby in my backpack. Oh, this is barely gonna make it. And that's the reason why it doesn't return to its original space, because you can use it to go back. I don't know what button I pressed to unhook, but I, pr I pressed all my buttons, basically. Oh no, that flower. Seed in hole! We did it! Uh, we've uncovered the mystery of mind magic. Oh no, now I am alone here. Um... There's not a cannon flower here, is there? There is, actually, okay. Look, there's like three things on the island. You can't expect me to remember more than two. <laughs> I remember the enemy and the eyeball. So it's clearly going to do something that's going to lead us to that cake. Cheese. It's not a cake, it's just a big lumpy cheese. Yeah, uh, something needs to happen to those seeds, because we put those seeds in the earth. You know, then needs a little bit of sunshine, maybe a little bit of water, and it'll grow up into a beautiful sunset. There's another door we have not entered yet. Oh boy, those guys, they just, you know, they just cast or gesture themselves uh, right into your face, whether they want to, or whether they want to. Mostly, you know, because they're programmed to do so. Here's money. I did it, I pressed the money button. Okay, and that gets you inside the money zone, but 20 seconds, I don't know, look, it is not enough time to get in there, transform into bird, and go there. Ooh, but maybe we can glide there, though. I don't think that's gonna be the solution. I don't think that's how I remember things going. I feel like I have to try, though. I mean, clearly you do not have time to go there, press a button, come back, and then, like, transform. That is, that is not gonna do. So, the question becomes, is Kazooie heavy enough to press down the button? And, oh jeez, that is scary. That is a huge... Oh, you are fast enough. Never mind then. Fast enough, thick enough. But is this gonna be fast enough? Yeah, like gliding is awesome. It's not fast. Okay, well, I can do it. I did it. <laughs> I'm inside this big ol' urn uh, down the elevator inside a pot of gold. Okay, well, are you real? Are you real? You're not real. Why must you deceive me so, blue guy? Oh, well, there's egg things embedded in this thing, though. Alright, so there's you, there's the eggs. Got it. Alright, you are, like, so annoying. Please be dead. That is my wish to you. 
Oh, this looks like it's like all the eggs that are not clockwork. Like, just like using my eyeballs to observe here. Like, that's normal, I think. Is it not? Like, is that not what's happening here? That could be ice. They're kind of similar. Okay, yeah, this one... Mm? No, that one has ice on it. No, that's... Okay, maybe I'm just a fool. I mean, that one's clearly red. Well, that one is clearly red. Maybe it needs to be turned on in some way? Oh yeah, you can't... You can't butt smash because that's a glide button. Alright, well, um, it doesn't want me to do things here. That's okay. And then you're shut off. Anything behind it? Maybe there's like the on button behind the structure. Well, there's a hexagon behind the structure, so I'll take that. Okay, then. So there's no door specifically here. But we do have another grandiose can. What is happening to you, Kazooie? Oh no, she's freaking out! <laughs> oh no! Oh, and that leads us exactly here. Yeah, no, uh, they're clearly eggs, clear like lit up like LED eggs, but would not interact. So, all right. I'm starting to feel like the next phase might be like, like, is there? Do I have any doors here? Uh, it's still left, and I didn't go in. Yeah, I've been there, been there, been those. Like, next step might be starting to fly. Did I go up there? I don't think I did. Like, today being, let's check out the main spokes out of the central location. Makes a lot of sense to me, and I'm pretty happy with that. And I mean, do we know we got one number out of that? You know, that's pretty good. It's pretty important. The Zagreen guy is there and he pops me with his daisy. You know, that's pretty rude. I didn't know that paths ended there. But every time you go in, it resets the camera to like the default, which is, as far as I'm concerned, way too close to, to you. It makes it hard to honestly tell where things are, to me at the very least. But yeah. This is where I want to go. So yeah, I went in that water. It was a globo. Uh, so that does mean I got both Globos in this place. Okay, this is just like, well, check out this sweet, like, very thin passageway. Alright, we got ourselves a note there. We got, like, something that seems a little deeper here. Speed shoes? Speed shoes. Okay. You always gotta have those. Get ready to speed. As they say, probably somewhere. Ah, oh, okay, I recognize this place. Uh, yeah. Uh, we will need the speed shoes, but the place isn't ready yet. So it's just a big old strand of earth. Uh, talking us about the wayside. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Look at that. That kind of looks like a. I was about to say fishing line. Yes. That is exactly it. Oh, there's a mumbo pad though. Wait, so you have to bring mumbo all the way here? Oh, that looks like that would be a butt. So yeah, you gotta bring mumbo to like the most out of the place pan. Well, by which I mean like the most out of place door. All right, I mean, fair enough. Anything else I wanna do? I mean, doing that's probably not the worst idea, and that will make things to do next time, where we can, like, uh, see the effects. It's what makes the most sense to me, so let's go ahead and do that. That's right, ring that bell, ring that cash register. They do kind of pop up, like little, like, cash register things out of a cash register. <laughs> I'm good with language. Hey, Flower, how's it going? And yeah, I need to remember, next to the house is a flight pad. 
Which, you know, I, I feel like there has to be things in place to stop you from just flying everywhere. Wee oui, wee, oui, that's right, it's Jinjo! Hiding right here. That's another blue guy in this level. It's weird to me that they double up like that. Yay, health. I keep not having those. I did not press the button! I did not press the button! He's waking up. Maybe he's drunk. Mambo has big surprise! Surprises are good. Alright, he's gonna do his super spell. He knows that Wamba transformed. Uh... Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's kind of silly though, but. So here's the thing. There's the red skull and there's a blue skull. It's randomized. It's randomized which one is gonna be the real one and which one's gonna be the fake. You can tell by uh, if it's a real Jinjo or a Minjo in his room, like in the bottom. Uh, Alright, so now I remove like your arm. That's right, you gotta slowly talk about that. It's very important. With that said, I wish I had more- okay, I'm probably just gonna die. Like, I just don't have health. Okay, you can dodge. Okay, was I being too aggro? I was being too aggro. This is a Banjo-Kazooie boss. You're supposed to let them do their things and then you attack. My bad! Look, I never played this game before, alright? I didn't know that. I never played a single Banjo-Kazooie. Alright, arm rest blaster. Oh, now it's window blaster. Okay, you know, that's a pretty crafty, I guess. Crafty, like a beer. There you go. I'm, I'm still probably gonna die. Like, at some point, there's gonna be, like, shenanigans or something, and I'm gonna have forgotten about. And I'm gonna, like, oh, shenanigans, I forgot about. Whoa! Yeah, see? The shenanigan was he teleported right next to me. I couldn't run fast enough. The correct move would have been to... Gold Wonder Wing. <laughs> you bring me back here, which is kind of rude. Really? And you don't give me health. I feel like I keep dying to bosses. Like, I've died to several bosses in these games, but it's because very often I just end up at a boss with, like, very little health. It keeps happening. Like, I could have doubled back and like, alright, well, we're not doing that, obviously. Uh, but, you know, I'm trying to play as a blind person. And so, uh, I just went right in. I chose to fall for it. Whoops. Whoops. I think I heard him. Well, he's bleeding everywhere, so... Yeah, these bosses are, like, designed to stab off aggressivity. And so, naturally... You know, I gotta- I gotta check myself. I have to be careful about my behavior. Because I do tend towards slightly hyper-aggressivity. It's always the same number, it's always four blasts. That's surprising to me. Now you're gonna teleport. Whoa. And you might teleport, like, real close to me. Because you can also just be in the middle like that? That seems rude. Uh, okay, that counted as a hit. I wasn't sure. So be ready for anything. Because, yeah, he's dangerous if he happens to teleport, like, right next to you. And you know what? Like, that's... I think I missed. So there I was too far away. And I couldn't get my hit on him. So four now is gonna be, so we gotta like to dodge inward. Yeah, so dodge outward for most of these, but once it's at the fourth blast, dodge inward. You kind of run in and then you go towards and Like that. Okay. I still feel like when I hit him, it doesn't feel like I'm hitting him. I don't know if it's just me. Like it's... Every time, man. Whoa, okay. Uh, well. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. He's a robot, though. I don't know, man. You're kind of doing a good job. 
keep getting- oh, you're bleeding. I mean, it's green, but it's still clearly blood. Analogous. Hey! On the chair. Alright, so... Yeah, you bleed a little bit from the neck, then you blow up. That's just- that's just robot, man. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll leave the Red Skull for tomorrow. And, uh, we'll do whatever Mumbo needs to do at his pad, and then we'll see where to bring... Where the game brings us from there. That just feels like logic to me. I just want to go to the central, like, you know, spot. Like, it's a nice space, I think, to restart from. And yeah, so there's the pot of the, the pot of gold. I'm just surprised that I went there and that there's just nothing going on. You got these, clearly these eggs, things, kind of, you know, signaling something. But no. So, like, I'm wondering if you're supposed to do that with, you know, Banjo and Kazooie. But, like, that just seemed kind of weirdly arbitrary. Because you can do egg things with, with Bird. Uh, but the game was like, no. But the game didn't say no. It's just no. It's just, you know, like, it just did not react instead. Which is just kind of awkward.